everyone welcome back to my channel so today's topic uh, in risk management is yield curve and its spikes so yesterday we started a new chapter in risk management that is market risk so we have started market risk yesterday we discussed some concepts under market risk so we discussed the meaning and various types of market risk so the next type is uh, next concept is yield curve and its types so let's discuss what is this yield curve and what are its types so first is meaning of yield so first what is the meaning of this word yield yield means return so return so return curve so yield curve is the graphical representation of different interest rates paid by the bonds having same risk but different maturity so here in simple terms to make you easily understandable so it is just the representation a graphical representation representation of interest with different time period so with different time period how much the interest is so for example in short term short term period short term period how much the interest earned by the bond holders in long term if they are investing in the long term how much interest they are getting so simply it is talking about the interest payments of the bonds so interest payments of the bonds treasury bills that is treasury bills given by the central government so it is just talking about the interest rates with reference to the maturity with reference to the time period so when we are graphically representing the interest with respect to the time period it is called as yield curve sorry so next slide is how it works so how it is working so see here yield curve yield curve it is basically differentiated between two terms one is shortest and the longest maturity so here it is all talking about the maturity period or the time period so there are two terms one is shortest maturity another is longest maturity maturity sorry so shortest here means the three months so any bond any any kind of bond or any kind of mortgage it starts from three months and the longest is the 30 years so three months is the minimum that is the shortest and the longer longest up to up to which the uh, bond contract can be carry out carried out means 30 years so it is all about the shortest and the longest maturity so here talking about the graph so this horizontal horizontal representation horizontal axis it is representing the maturity so you can see here this is this x axis is representing the maturity and the y axis that is the vertical axis it is representing the yield so we'll plot yield on y axis and we'll plot maturity on x axis so when you heard when you heard some people talking about yield means they are just talking about the interest rates so whenever you you heard in practical life and you are going to heard uh, yield in the field of finance means it is all about the interest earnings with different time period so how this is how it works so next is yield types so what are the yield curve types so basically there are three yield curve which are covered and we should be covered under your syllabus is normal yield inverted yield and flat yield so let's take the first one the normal yield so normal yield is when the shortest interest that is the short time that is three months or less than three months interest is lower than the long long term interest rates so here it is normal it, it it is obviously right when we are purchasing the bonds for uh, for short period the interest will be less because we are not uh, putting our amount in risk so here so only the interest will be low when compared to the long term 
but when we are investing our amount for a period of up to 30 years we are investing the amount in bonds means the interest rate will be high because risk will also be high so we have already discussed the risk and return trade off so here that there we learn higher the risk higher the return so that is higher the interest so here that principle is applicable so see here see here so when suppose first year that is the short short maturity at first year suppose 0.5 0.5 is the interest earned so that is 0.5 but at 30 years suppose at the end of the 30 years the investor is getting suppose this is 2.8 so 2.8 percent he is getting for long term investment and for short term investment that is for one year he is getting 0.5 interest so this is normal so the curve the curve is slopes upward so it is it is going towards the upward direction so it is going towards the upward direction so it re, it is expected that this short term short term investors they expect that one or the other day the interest rates of our bonds will increase the interest rates of our bond will increase if we increase our maturity so it is just simply comparison between the short term and the long term interest where short term interest is lesser when compared to the long term interest so when the long term interest increases the short term in interest holders expect that their their interest will also increase in future so this is the first type next is the flat yield so in the previous previous type we learned that when short term is lower than the long term but here when both of the interest rates are same when both of the interest rates are same so that is called as flat yield so up in 30 years you are investing you are getting the same 2% interest and for 2 year if you are investing that is for short term also you are getting 2% interest only so that is when we are getting the same interest rates interest rates in short term as well as in the long term that is called as flat yield the next third type is inverted yield so here inverted yield it is the opposite of the normal yield so normal yield nalli now odri normal yield e means when the slope winds upwards right when the slope is going upward that is normal yield and here short term are lower than the long term interest but the this this uh, inverted yield this inverted yield is when the slope winds downwards why the slope is winding downward it's going downward means because the short term interest rates are higher than the long term interest rates so when when situations are like people are getting more interest in the short term period and the long term interest interest holders are getting lower payments then it is classified under it is classified under inverted yield so when short term interest rates are higher than the long term interest rates and the long term in interest holders expect the short term interest to decrease then it is called as inverted yield
so this is all about today's topic if you have any doubts you can ask me in your whatsapp group thank you